Mankato is really thriving and there's so much need and want for really unique businesses. Growing up, I've always been involved in um, furniture and design and antique stores. So then this opportunity fell in my lap and I had to say yes. I heard a voice that sounded just like you. I was looking for a new partner and somebody brought up Heather's name. And so we decided to join forces. Her and I have the same energy level and our skills and experience complement each other. So it's, it's been great. The blues. I basically manage and do the marketing. I take care of books, I man the store. My day-to-day -day is never the same. My job is primarily the furniture. So I'm scouting and scouring and digging and uh, rummaging for furniture, good quality, unique pieces all the time. And then I'm in charge of repairing the furniture and cleaning it up and transforming it into what we see in the store. But there's a furrow in your brow. I can when Carol brings new stuff in, um, I find homes for them and it's always changing. When we are looking to pick up a piece of furniture, first thing we want to do is look, uh, are all the pieces there? Is it repairable? Is it in good shape? Is it quality construction? Who tells me, babe, that we'll never part? The stuff that we have in our store is completely unique. We never get two of the same piece, and we never paint anything the same color twice. Heather and I think about and collaborate on the color for the particular piece and what kind of finish it would be if it's distressed or if it's just a straight up paint job. The most gratifying thing about this business is offering something unique in this community. For me, what's the most exciting is to take a piece of furniture that nobody wanted. It was a cast off. It was on the curb maybe or in a dumpster and transforming it into a beautiful piece that I know somebody else is going to love in their home. We've had people come into the store and be surprised and say, well, I thought you offered used furniture uh, because it looks so great and it's exciting to hear that kind of comment. It's great that we're expanding our warehouse. That is going to really help us with turnover, offering more custom painting. We'll be able to paint there, prime there, repair there, and let the paint cure all in one space. It's, it's, it's very exciting. And I'll be able to park my car in the garage over the winter. Even better. Facebook is a really powerful marketing tool and we have embraced that. Basically, I'll take pictures of new stuff that comes in the store and I just want people to know daily what's happening, what we're doing, what we're up to. Our inventory changes all the time, so if you don't see something you like today, come back next week, we might have something. Or if you do see something that you like today, you better grab it because it might not be here next week. I think when we started, it was like, gosh, you know, could we grow and could we expand and could we be this and this and this? And I'm starting to really understand that it's okay to remain small. And it's okay to just kind of be what we are. Just a little bit of elbow grease, you can really create something extraordinary.